Hi everyone, welcome to our beginner 30 minute bar. This is a great video for anyone that doesn't really have time to do the normal one hour lessons in the beginner series and you just need to get a quick bar in. Let's just get straight into our plie slash warm up combo. We are gonna start in sixth position, so completely parallel. My big toes are touching each other and we are going to pedal for eight counts. So right and left and right and left and five, six, seven, and eight. And we'll elevate and down and elevate and down. Four in total, up and down, last one and down. And then you'll have four counts to roll out your ankles. You can go at any speed. So one, two, three, four, it doesn't matter which ankle you roll out first. And then the other ankle, four counts, one, two, three, four. And after you do a little bit of rolling, we'll go straight into first position and we'll do our normal two demis on grand. Demi and straight, demi and straight, and plie all the way down, demi and straight. And then go straight into second position, demi and up, and demi and up, demi, grand, demi and up. We'll go into fifth position with right foot or leg front, two demis, one grand, and then demi and grand, and demi and straighten. Turn to the right leg, close, right leg back. So now you're in fifth position with your left foot front, two demis, one grand here, demi and straight, demi and straight, demi all the way down, press to demi and straighten, and then we'll go into first position with four plie force arches just to stretch out our ankles and feet. Demi plie, force arch all the way up and lower, demi plie, force arch up and lower, two more, up, and lower, fourth one, up, and then we'll stay here and then we'll balance in first position arms and first position legs for eight whole counts. And then after that, you'll get around a minute of time to do any free stretches you want to do. Of course, if you're not comfortable with stretching your own, you can just feel free to follow along with what I'm doing. And pedal one and two and three and four, four more, five. We're just going through half toe here, just stretching the arches, then up and down. Push to half toe, then down. Last one, and we'll roll out our ankles. Three, and four, switch leg, roll in any direction you need to and any speed that you need. Let's turn out, demi and straight, demi and straight. Go straight down, don't stick your butt out, press to demi and then to second position. All toes on the ground, knee side, Right foot front, demi, demi. Just a light touch on the bar here. Press demi. Now left foot front. Large diamond shape with your legs. Knee side, abs in, right under you. Let's go back to first position. Straighten, slowly lower. Don't drop down. Plie, force arch, and slowly lower with control. Abs in. Last one. And hold it up to balance. Pull your thigh muscles up. When you're ready, let go of the bar. Thumbs tucked in. Arms should be right in front of belly button, shoulders down. 
Let's do a free stretch. I'm gonna stretch to my side. Keep going, do whatever it is that your body needs. If you have tight calves, I would highly recommend stretching at your calves. This is probably one of my favorite stretches in ballet class. I do this constantly. And if you have tight hips, I would recommend trying out a figure four stretch at the bar. Do this at your own pace. I personally love ending my plies with just balancing on flat in first position, feeling the rotation from my hips, and then feeling my quads and hamstrings really engaged here. Great job, let's recoup for our tendus. Let's get straight into our tendus, starting with arms low five, six, seven, arms high on eight, tendu front and close, tendu front and close, third tendu and close, fourth tendu and close, en croix, side, close front, side, close back, side, close front, side, close back. You see how I coordinated that last tendu with arms down? And then four tendus back and close, tendu and close, tendu and close, four and close. En croix, close back and front and back and front. Now two all around and close, front and close, side and close, side and close, two to the back and two to the side. Now one and one and one and one, plie, we'll balance in fifth position, arms high, we'll go off the music here a little bit. I want you to take as much time as you need to find your balance, so even if the music is over and you still feel like you need a little bit more time to find it, don't worry, go over the music, it's totally fine. This happens pretty often in a normal class anyways. Let's go over the arm transitions for this combination. So when you turn to front, your arm is high, so you do Four tendus here, let's pretend like I just did four. And then when you tendu side, your arm goes with your legs. So that's the transition, side. So don't do any weird paths. Don't try to do down and then up. And don't try to do first position open. It's just high fifth and drop, okay? Close front, close back, close front, close back. The last or fourth tendu to the side, your arm comes down with the leg, it's gonna be really tricky to get that in. So just try your best, but it doesn't have to be perfect right away. And then tendu back, so your arm is low, and then you transition front. So this is pretty straightforward. And then let's say I just did four back. To transition side, I'm gonna to go to first position, then open. So I just did my fourth tendu back, first position, and open to do my four tendus front, and then in the fourth tendu I close, and I do my two, and I do my two, and I do my two back, I do my two side, one all around. One shortcut that you can take is you just did your front, you did your side, you did your back, and then you did your tendu side, you're about to do your front again. So when you finish kind of one whole en croix part of this combination, and you have to start front again, you can take the long route, which is arms all the way down, arms all the way up, or you could take the shortcut, which is arms up. I would really like you to take the full path, which is all the way down, all the way up, but if you're still new to the arm positions and not very comfortable with it yet, I would highly recommend taking the shortcut. Um, right now, it doesn't matter as much, but I just wanted to put it out there. All right, let's get straight into this combination. Seven and 
A. Tondu, close front. Tondu, close front. This is the third one. And fourth one, arm side. Don't change. Then change. Tondu, close front. Tondu, arms down. Back. Two more. Last one. Arms to first and open. Close back and tondu. Close front. You're doing a great job. Just make sure to go through all the small positions of tondu. Remember, mini fourth when you tondu front. To the side, close front. To the side, arms down and uh, back and close and uh, back and close to the side. Close back. Arms down and front. Arm drops to the side. Arms in front of you. Last one. Let's plie and susu balance. Take all the time you need. Thighs squeezing against each other. Ankles really solid. Chin slightly lifted. Abs pulled up. Going straight into the second side, left foot should be front. Arms high to the front. Remember we're going through our mini fourth position. To the side, we're going through a mini second position with the foot. Elbow up. A light touch on the bar if you can. Look past your fingers. Last one corner at the arms and open. Close back. Close front. Arms down and uh, up. Two side. Two back. Abs pulled up here. Relax your neck. Plie, su su. On your highest half toe if you can. Push your shoulders down. Great job. We'll move on to jetés now, starting in fifth position. This is going to look very tricky, so bear with me while I demonstrate this and count. Five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, hold, eight. Reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and back, and side, and front, hold. That's part A. Part B is wrap, extend off the ground, pique, and close to the side, extend off the ground, pique, close, coupe back, pas de cheval, pique, and close, pas de cheval, en croix, pique, close fifth, and then we'll wrap and balance here for eight counts, and then we will extend our leg side and balance here, arms in second position for eight counts, and then we'll close after that. There were two parts to the combination, the jetés and the pas de cheval. I think the pas de cheval is pretty straightforward because it's one pas de cheval pique in the en croix pattern, but the jetés are what is very, very tricky in this. So the new way that I would recommend you start thinking about the jetés is just counting to three because what it is is one, two, three, side. One, two, 
three, back, one, two, three, side, one, two, three, and one, all around, and back, reverse. So we're gonna do one, two, three, side, two, three, then front, two, three, on, qua, two, three, then back, and side, and front, hold. The three on qua pattern goes off the music, so if you're doing the normal one to eight counting, this will get very confusing. So I would highly recommend, at least for part A of this combination, to think of everything in threes. The best way to learn something is to try it, so let's get straight into it. One, two, three, side, two, three, back, one, two, three, side, close, back, close, front, and front, and side, and back, reverse. One, two, three, then side, two, three, then front, two, three, then side, one all around, back and side and front, part B, up, close, wrap, pas de cheval, and up, to the back, P, K, close, fifth, en qual pattern, P, K, close, down, wrap, to balance, and remember, we're gonna have to extend that leg side. You can do it. Slowly, take your time, take your time. Great job, everyone. Before we go into the left side, I wanna just commend you for doing <laughs> this exercise because this is a very mentally challenging exercise. The first time you do this, it might feel very overwhelming, but I want you to know that that's normal. So what I really wanted to talk to you about is that last balance at the end. We've talked about this before in the piano series about how when you balance on one foot, you need to have almost all of your weight on the ball of your foot. This is going to be extremely noticeable in the balance that we're doing because if you have a 50-50 split of weight distribution, which means that 50% of your body weight is on the ball of your foot and 50% is on the heel. When you have to extend, your body is going to adjust. So it's going to do this and then it's going to lean just a little bit. I don't want to call it leaning, but really it's a shifting of your body weight towards the opposite direction of your extended leg so that you can balance everything out. The leaning or the shifting looks extremely obvious if you have a 50-50 weight distribution. But if you were to have the weight distribution that I'm recommending, which is almost all of your weight on the ball of your foot when you extend, there is a shift. I am doing a very slight shift, but you don't notice that my body is really moving, right? But if you're doing 50-50, it's gonna be essentially this kind of back and forth. When you have a really big shift, that's usually when you throw yourself off the balance. So you really want to minimize shifts. The shifts will have to happen. They will have to happen, but they have to be very, very small. If you teeter-totter a very large amount, you will probably fall over one of these days. And we don't want that. <laughs> so again, minimal, 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 minimal shifts. Anyways, let's just go straight into the left side now. Remember, we have to count in threes for our jetés. Seven and eight. One, two, three, to the side. To the back. And side two, three, and front, then side, then back, reverse. One, two, three, one, two, three, count on your own now. And three, part B. Knee side, point that foot. Keep the hips quiet as you're doing all of this. When you're on one leg, keep all your weight on the ball of that standing foot. Knee side, really point that foot that's in the wrapped position. Pull your abs up, feel like you're growing taller. Great job, everyone. Now we are on rond de jambes. And just a quick reminder in case anyone has forgotten, rond de jambes means circle of the leg, rond is the circle, de jambes is of the legs, jambes is 
leg. Let's get started in fifth position. Five, six, seven, eight. And a fondue. Extend front. And fondue. Extend side point. And front. And back. And front. All the way back. Four rond de jambes. And two. And three. And four. Close fifth. Stretch. Two. Roll up. Reverse. And fondue. Back. And fondue. This is low. And uh, back. And front. And slow. Rond de jambes. That's too slow. Now we are doing four faster ones. Back. And back. And back. And back. Close front. Arms down to stretch back and up, arms side. The music will run out by this point, but I really wanted us to take a balance in passe. So we are going to go through a coupe front, so not a wrap, coupe front, and then all the way up. And remember, weight on the ball of the standing leg, knee side, but also this knee needs to be sideways. A lot of things happening. Balance off the music for however many counts you want. When you're done with your balance, you have to trail your leg down the same path that you took to come up. Make sure you go through a coupe front to go into fifth position. I know it's very tempting to just think, all right, I'm done, leg down. But you have to go all the way down, keeping that foot pointed on the leg, closing to fifth. Okay, let's get straight into this, everyone. Right foot front in fifth position. Eight, fondue front. Point that foot. And uh, front, then back, elbow up, front, and back, four faster. Keep your hips and standing leg quiet here. Stretch, roll up. Reverse, fondue back. Knees bend, knees straighten and uh, back. And front, back. Light touch on the bar. Keep your shoulders squared to the front. Stretch back. Balance off the music, go through that coupe front to passe, knees side, upper body not falling forward, just pulled up. And trail that foot down to fifth. Great job. Okay, we are going to go straight to the next side. Seven and eight. Fondue. Fondue. Really point that foot. I want you to almost feel like you are going to get a cramp. That's how hard you should be pointing against the ground. Front and uh, front and last one. Close. Stretch. Roll up. Reverse. With the arms and open, arms down and uh, open, back, back, and stretch. Going through coupe front. Both knees should go side. And remember, you're balancing on the ball of the standing leg. Great job. 
Now it's time for a develop haze, starting in five, six, first position, and eight. Arms down, this is wrap, two, passe three, four, attitude, extend front, lift a little to close, then one, two, three, four, other arm, six, seven, eight, to the side, two, passe, three, four, extend attitude, all the way out, lift, close back, both arms, down, two, first, two, fifth, look into the bar, inhale, look out of the bar, and arms down, to the back, two, three, passe, four, attitude, extend, lift, to close, arms meet in first, inside arm goes out, arms meet in first, row open, to finish the encore pattern, coupe back, draw it up, to passe, and hold, attitude side, extend, point, and close, both arms down, arms to first, high fifth, look into the bar when you're opening, look out when you're doing your elange, and you end this combination with arms low. When you do your developé front, you have eight counts of arm switches, so we're pretty familiar with this type of arm switching from fourth to the other side fourth position. This time I'm making you take the long route, so this arm goes down, right arm opens, inside arm goes up. Switch, and switch, and open. And then when you do your developé side and you close, both arm comes off the bar to high fifth, look into the bar to open, inhale, elange, and down, and then you do your developé, back, close, arms meet in first position, inside arm is an arabesque arm position, arms meet in first again, and then open to side, grab the bar by this point, and then you do your Develop a side and close. And again, same arms down to high fifth, in the bar, away from the bar, close. I'll call it out, let's get into it. This exercise is a little bit of a brain teaser, but I'll talk you through it. And eight, wrap one, two, passe three, four, attitude, extend, little lift to close, left, arm down, left arm high, open and right arm down and up, open to the side, wrap, little lift to close, back, both arms off, tie fifth, back, right arm front, arms in first, left arm front, arms to first, open side, last time to the side, remember weight should be on the ball of the standing leg here, extend, keep your abs pulled up, you can do it, both arms off and up, look into the bar, away, inhale, exhale. I know your legs are tired at this point, but try your best to push through and definitely take a break if you need to. Seven and eight, wrap one, Coordinate the arms with the legs here. Knees side, point that foot. Right arm high, switch. Open and wrap. Remember, weight on the ball of the standing leg here. 
arms off to high fifth. Use your eyes. Look away from the bar. High attitude back for you. Extend. Arms in first. Inside arm front. Arms comes to first. Open second. Finish that on qual pattern. Wait on the ball of the standing leg. Make sure your standing knees perfectly pulled up and straight. Both arms. Look into the bar. Away. Arms down. We're at the last combination of bar today. We are going to be combining our frappes and grand batmas. Let's get started in fifth position. We're not gonna do our normal preparation for frappes, which is the tendu and flex. We're actually just going to pick up and flex in fifth position, okay? Starting in fifth position, five, six, seven, eight, and strike, flex, and strike, close, grand bat ma, close, grand bat ma, close, and strike, flex, and strike, close, front, grand bat ma, don't change, grand bat ma, then change, and strike, flex, strike, close, two grand bat bas to the back, on claw pattern, and strike, and strike, close back, don't change, then change, we'll plie in fifth, su su. I want you to use this opportunity to use the same head positions that we learned in the develop hay combination. So when you're ready, you'll let go and you'll have both arms in high fifth and you'll look into the bar as you open. You can grab at this point and out to plie in fifth, all right? So you're here balancing in susu. You open, look into the bar. You can grab at this point. Inhale, elongate arms, plie fifth. All right, everyone, you've made it so far. You're almost there. Let's get straight into this. Remember, the prep is just a pick up of the right foot. Seven, pick it up and strike and back and strike, close in fifth. Pick up, strike, close, back, strike, close. Don't change, then change. Arms side the whole time, elbow up to grandma ma's back. En croix. Then plie, susu. Remember we're using the head positions here. Let go when you can. Look into the bar to open your arms and away to elange and down. Okay, you know what's next. We are going to go straight into the left side. Seven and pick up and strike and strike and close. Remember, have a light grip on that bar. You're almost there. You can do it. Brush the ground. And even here, it's really a brush into the ground. Into the ground. Brush and brush. And for the grommet moss, push into the ground. And plie. Su su. A slight chin lift here. Relaxing the shoulders. Great job, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone, for taking class with me today. If you just started the beginner series, this bar might have been a little bit challenging for you, but I highly recommend you come 
back to it when you have gone at least halfway through the beginner series and see how you feel. You might realize that this is a little bit easier as you do it. And it's always fun to just check in with yourself and see how something that was hard becomes easy the second or third time around. And if you have some extra time, I would highly recommend just putting on some music that you enjoy and just stretching on your own. It's always good to just relax your muscles and give yourself a little bit of time to cool down after bar. You can use my split stretching video if you want a routine to follow, but otherwise I will see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.